Hey guys, welcome to ET Land. Today we are going to quickly look at how to remove these annoying update prompts in your 3DS or in your 2DS, as well as how to remove the downloaded update file here. This is my daily 2DS and I don't want to update it to 11.17, therefore I am keeping it on 11.16 and because of that this prompt is very annoying and it comes up every day and that's why I'm making this tutorial. You can also find the written guide from the link in the description box which will link you to my Kofi page master thread and then you can click how to remove 3DS and 2DS update messages and update file. There will be more updates on my Kofi page and I am working on it slowly. If you want to support the development of this channel, please feel free to go there and buy me a coffee. With that being said, let's go back to our tutorial. First of all, since this prompt sometimes do not appear, you do not have to wait till it appears in order to perform this tutorial. And if it appears, you can follow the step I'm doing right here. Press B button to cancel and then press A to confirm. Turn off your device. Then power the console into recovery mode by holding L and R shoulder buttons, A button, D-pad up, and power button together. It will take some time to boot into the recovery mode, so please be patient. Next, it will ask you if you want to connect to the internet and please click cancel on the left hand side. If you mistakenly click OK for connecting to the internet, don't worry. The next page is to ask you if you agree with the policy of updating your device. You can simply click do not agree on the left hand side and then your device will turn off automatically. Now turn on your device again and go to system settings to check if the update files are being removed. Click other settings and then scroll to page 4 and then click system update. If you see the message asking you if you want to connect to the internet and update the system, that means the update file and the messages are gone. Now click cancel and go back. If you do not plan to update to the latest version and you do not want those annoying messages coming back again and again, please turn off your internet so that they will not come back to you. So that's pretty much about today's video and I hope you find it useful. There will be more videos on 3DS modding and homebrew in the future. Please stay tuned if you are interested and please subscribe to my channel if you think it is helpful. See you in my next video. Bye!